Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. For some, learning a new language seems to come naturally. For others, the entire process feels more like a tooth and nail struggle. However, if you've had a negative experience learning a new language at one point in time, don't let that discourage you from trying again. The truth is that learning any language is never easy, but it's definitely possible. Sometimes the difference between success and failure has less to do with your abilities or talents and a lot more to do with the way you look at things. In this video, we're going to look at how to avoid five serious mistakes made by new language learners. Number one, listen before you speak. Being slow to speak and quick to listen is good life advice, whether or not you're learning a foreign language. Effective listening is essential to communication. As a beginner, there is a tendency to concentrate so much on what you're going to say and how you're going to say it that you can completely miss the meaning or heart of what the other person is trying to communicate. Not only will this impair your ability to listen in your target language, it will also stall what little conversation you had going. Remember that conversations are a two-way street. If you're speaking more than listening, then you actually have more of a monologue on your hands than a dialogue. The inputs of language learning, listening and reading, are just as important as the outputs, speaking and writing. For a beginner, inputs are even more crucial, as they are the main way you acquire new vocabulary. We even go so far to say that for new students, the best method for learning involves more listening than it does speaking, though that may change with higher proficiency levels. Number two, don't be embarrassed when you do speak. People's next mistake usually comes from the other side of the spectrum, where new learners are too scared or embarrassed to contribute to a conversation. The fear of making mistakes and embarrassing yourself can paralyze your language learning. It's vital to remember that everyone makes mistakes. Even native speakers had to find their way through the language when they were children. Making mistakes while learning a new language is inevitable, but it's also a good thing. The faster you make mistakes, the quicker you can correct them and move on with your learning. So instead of being afraid to make mistakes, try looking at them as steps towards progress. In reality, that's what they really are. Number three, don't fixate on minor issues. If taken in all at once, a new language can feel overwhelming to learn. It's so easy to get discouraged by all your little mistakes and conversational mishaps and you lose sight of the progress you're making. In addition to mistakes, you'll also come across plateaus, where you study and practice consistently but don't see any results for a significant amount of time. But whether you face errors or plateaus, remember that these things are minor obstacles on the road to fluency. The most important thing is not to give up. Stick with it. If you stay persistent, your mistakes will be corrected and your abilities will improve. But if you slow down or throw in the towel completely, then you'll either subvert your progress or nix it altogether. So remember that as long as you're still studying and learning the language, you can't lose. It might feel like you're losing the battle for language learning for a little while, but hang in there. A practical way to help you stay motivated is to make small weekly goals. Research shows that goal setting has a significant impact on learning. Try picking one aspect of grammar or a collection of new words or phrases to study for the next seven days. At the end of the week, check your progress and measure your success. Setting little benchmarks like this will give you a rightful sense of accomplishment. Number four, remember that immersion isn't magical. A lot of people think that by moving to a foreign country, they will learn the language by osmosis. But whether you learn abroad or at home, you still need to study and practice the language. Living in a new country gives you way more opportunities to do this than staying at home. But if you don't consciously take advantage of these opportunities while living abroad, it won't benefit your language learning. If you're an expat living in a foreign country, there's a natural inclination to hang out around other expats. Learning a language and living in a foreign culture is hard and uncomfortable. For better or worse, we're often drawn to the easier road. If you made the decision to study abroad, then you want to hang out with native speaking people as much as possible. You have the rest of your life to be with people who speak your language. This doesn't mean ignore your expat friends. Just be sure that you're giving proper attention to your language learning. Languages are better lived than they are learned. Number five, be open-minded. Languages are better lived than they are learned. When learning a new language, your brain will want to conform the new grammar and vocabulary to your native language norms and grammar rules. 
Ignore your brain on this one. At first, you might feel completely wrong saying a sentence that is in fact correct. After a certain point in language learning, there is a switch that goes off. When your brain finally realizes that you're not speaking your native language, but a new one altogether. This could take a while though, especially if this is your first time learning a new language. Until then, do what you know is correct, even if it feels a bit weird when you say it. The same goes for culture. Just as you want to be open to the differences in the language, don't forget to be open to the differences in the culture too. Hopefully this video helped you shift your thinking and approach language learning in a way that will help you become fluent faster. And that you'll learn to enjoy the journey towards fluency and savor the language for its own sake. That's probably the biggest language learning secret there is. And for even more ways to get started learning a new language, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.